patterns can be applied to text in Photoshop. Now I'm just going to go to the type tool, just going to select that, I'm going to set the size, I've got 156, Vodana, obviously it can be any type, so I'm just going to click, just type text, okay, I can resize at this point, just to make it a bit clearer, then I can go to the layer, layer style, pattern overlay, now straight away, pattern is filled, now it depends which version of Photoshop you got and what patterns you've got installed. Now I've got a selection of graphic extras patterns here but uh, you can find other PAT files on the web. To load them just go to the right side menu and load patterns or replace patterns. Now I'm just going to select another design. While you're in the style you can actually move it around and position the, the pattern. Also scale the pattern. So I'm just going to say leave it at that point. Also adding drop shadow as well as texture if you wish. Again, using patterns. So click there. Now, another way of doing that is going to the type tool again, but this time using the horizontal type mask tool. I'm just gonna type some text, text, click OK. And now I can fill that with again, with another pattern in the fill. Just use the use option. There's obviously foreground, color, color, Etc. Pattern. So I'm just going to click OK. Straight away, pattern is filled into into that uh, text. Quick, easy way of doing text. Also, you can use. I'm just quick, quickly show that as well. And that's the pattern stamp tool. It's another way. Quickly, just paint. And so I'm just going to quickly select a paint tool, brush. Sorry. And then you can just paint that in. I'm using impressionist mode at the moment, so I'll just turn that off. And of course, you can select again via the drop down. All the various patterns you've got in Photoshop and you can fill the text with the pattern. Of course you can just select different areas so you maybe you want to have that one. So purple, so I can just text purple for the T and the rest can be as before.